<laughs> hey guys, well it's kind of a gloomy and gray day outside, but I am actually doing a really fun activity today. Um, if you are a longtime viewer of my channel, you might remember I actually went back and checked in 2018. I went to this place called the American Treasure Tour, which is like one person's personal collection of all kinds of random stuff in this giant former factory that they have opened to the public as a museum. I mean, they have cars, band organs, um, all kinds of signage and like um, commercial displays and different things, um, down to little things, masks, costumes, uh, toys, dollhouses, there's a room full of pianos. <laughs> so um, it's really an, an interesting collection. If you're in southeastern Pennsylvania area, uh, it's worth stopping and it's just like a really interesting thing. But anyway, uh, there is a fellow YouTuber um, whose channel is, he actually has two channels. One is Cinema Sickness, which is like uh, for his movie collection and, and um, like thrifting of um, vintage movies and things. But he also has a channel called Retro Resta, uh, which is kind of just as he travels around or in the local area, which is kind of the same area that I'm in, he just finds all these interesting little things. And it could be anything from like an old diner, a weird sign. He just did one with like a, this strange gravestone from like the 1930s. I don't know how he finds all this stuff. I want to ask him. But um, I had been talking to him online. And since we're in the same area, he said, hey, we should do a video together. And he has never been to this place. And I know he's going to freak out over I can't wait to see the video that he posts about this. So I'm about to head out into the rain and yuck and we'll meet up with him and see the American Treasure Tour again. Okay. There we go. No. originally it would have been this groundbreaking thing is it this, this are you kidding me <laughs> it's predated like vhs and, mm. and all that stuff it would have been this amazing thing but there was all these issues with getting a made and there was issues within the company so it kept getting like pushed back and pushed back mm. pushed back and by the time they finally released it laserdisc had already mm. come out mm -hmm. and vhs and beta were like only two years away uh. so they basically re released a product that was already uh, obsolete. Obsolete, yeah. So it only lasted, I believe, three years on the market. I, um, players only made for five years. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I have a couple of those in my collection, then. Do you have the player? I do. I have the CD player. This area of the museum we call the Toy Box, and you are about to view a collection amassed by one man who wishes to remain anonymous. <laughs> we honor that request as he wants the items collected to be the stars of the show. His passion has brought together one of the world's largest collections of pop culture from the 1870s to present day. You know, when it first arrived in the showroom was $1,776. Mm. We have around 70 classic vehicles here in the museum, some of which you get to see on foot and some from the tram. If you love cars, make sure you pick up a brochure for our sister company, the Classic Auto Mall in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Oh. They have a huge selection of vintage automobiles. To look left, you will see our tableau of dogs playing poker. If you lived through the 1960s, chances are you remember dogs playing poker and pool as artwork that hung on many families. Side of the tram, we have a really big shoe. Some people ask why, we ask, why not? This shoe is actually from a now defunct cable channel called Wedding Central. The distinction of being handmade with no plastic. It's all wood and metal, and it is run by old Singer sewing machine motors. 
The last display is from the city location in the early 1960s. This display shows a Victorian era Christmas along with the church scene and nativity. After they were seen in Macy's, they were sold to Hershey Park and were a part of their Candy Cane Lane Christmas display. introduced gasoline was a whopping 20 cents a gallon this is a very <laughs> fake out there you go Well, that was really fun. I wanted to interview him a little before we headed out of there, but um, it was raining outside and it was cold and I think we both wanted to go. Um, I did ask, how does he find out about the places that he um, puts in his videos? Uh, you know, because like, yeah, some of them are things that I am aware of, have been to, they're kind of known nodes roadside attractions and things and then some of them are just totally random so he said actually a lot of them he finds by other people's videos and social media posts and things about these places and then he thinks oh I need to find that um, I suggested a couple uh, places around the area for him to film at that he hadn't been to yet so I'll be watching to see if those come up um, but yeah it was really fun the American treasure tour I see something new every time I've been there when I told them I had been since 2018 the um the people at the ticket booth were like oh my gosh we have so much new stuff for you to see um and they're getting more all the time they just said they're getting um some neon signs from a neon sign museum that closed so it's it's a really neat place if you're ever in the area you should check it out so hope you enjoyed that little glimpse the video and pictures do not do it justice so come see it in person <laughs> thanks for watching i'll see you next time